everyone. Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We do a lot of churches, so I want to kind of give you an idea of some of the breakpoints we use for treatment. And the age of the congregation is really important, and it has to be a factor in your calculations. So we know reverb is defined as how long a sound stays around in the room after it's been sung, spoken, or played. So it's really a measure of decay, right? And that's where we get the 30-second and the 60-second, the RT, 30-60, right? It's a measure of decay over those intervals. Well, as we advance in age, when we're younger, this kind of decay rate, I mean, even if it's something like this, doesn't really seem to bother us when our hearing system is young. But as we mature and get older, Reverberation can really be a problem for us. It can actually cause headaches and drive people away from the environment, whether it's church or music or anything like that. So we've all been in large environments that just sound absolutely horrible. Well, the problem is reverb, and it's usually reverb with a really long tail. Five, six, I saw seven second full range the other day in one of our projects. So it's really a problem. You don't need sound staying around in the room for five and six seconds. That's just not a good thing, no matter what. So we all know reverb is produced by the reflections off the floor walls and the ceiling. Floor too, but we'll talk about that. Speech intelligibility, that's the big thing. If you've been in a room with high reverb times and you're talking next to someone, the reverb gets in the way of, it's like a, screen in front of you and the person like at a concert that's why you always have to lean over and get in their ear so there's more direct energy and less reverb and room sound so speech intelligibility how many words in a 10 word sentence can we clearly hear and understand churches we shoot for 80 8 out of 10 and then our brain and mind fills the remaining two in so that's the goal that we have to do. So reverb is a distortion and it interferes with voice and music. And it has to be treated. Well, we know how we treat it. We put absorption. We start with the four walls. Now, here's the variable that I talked about at the beginning. The average age of the congregation is 50 to 60. We add 10% more treatment to the room to lower the times, okay? If it's 60 to 70, we add another 15%. And if it's over 70, we add 20. So those are the numbers that we, guidelines that we go by. And that's why when we do churches, we always ask the average age of the congregation because it has a direct impact on budget, space requirements, how much space we're gonna be able to use in, in the room, and stuff like that. So we wanna be careful because we just finished doing a church in Alaska where they were losing attendance. Well, reverb times were so high, the average age of the congregation was 75. So we treated the room, everybody's back, now they're looking for a new building. So it does have a big impact, you know, because really what is the product of a church? It's music and voice. And those are the two messengers and you have to be able to hear both completely or you're missing the point, you know. Um, we we see we go for 80 as an SI, but we see mostly around 40 in churches. So there's a direct correlation between speech intelligibility and reverb time. So you have a six second reverb time, depending on the room size, you're gonna have a very low speech intelligibility number. So the age of the congregation must be taken into consideration when we lower reverb times in churches or any large venue. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.